people is proud to present the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 Days 40 Fintechs, hashtag Level 1 Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all. The 40 Days for Fintechs initiative continues to shine a spotlight on entrepreneurs that are innovatively using financial technology to support Uganda and Africa's last mile financial inclusion. On the 14 of the annual 40 Days for Fintechs initiative season 5, we are very excited to be joined by a representative of Pelaita. Could you please introduce yourself and your organization? Thank you. Uh, my name is Doug Smith. I'm a co-founder and uh, chief operating officer at Pelaita Health. And uh, at Pelaita Health, we are bridging the healthcare financing gap in Africa uh, with a core belief that no one should struggle financially to receive healthcare. And uh, healthcare bills should not hurt more than illness itself. Yes. Using very simple language and words, what exactly do you do? What is your proposition? Thank you. Uh, like I said, uh, at Pelita Health, we're trying to bridge the healthcare financing gap in Africa. Uh, when you look at Africa, uh, uh, insurance penetration in Africa is very low. Uh, I think it's around uh, 2%. And uh, specifically in Uganda, it is uh, less than 1%. So what we are trying to do, uh, we are trying to bridge this healthcare financing gap. Uh, how are we doing it? We are helping the uninsured low-income earners to prepare for and afford quality healthcare anywhere at all times through our digital healthcare micro savings and lending platform. So we help the uninsured save as low as 500 Uganda shillings cumulatively dedicated for healthcare. And this fund is utilized to offset their medical bills anywhere at our registered healthcare facilities. And in situations where uh, uh, the medical bills may be uh, uh, bigger than uh, uh, their wallet savings, we provide a micro loan top up and uh, they are able to settle their medical bills. What is the inspiration behind Peleta? Uh, we are driven and motivated by a story that went viral sometime back in 2021 of a pregnant mother. It was an, expect an expecting mother and uh, uh, she could not afford uh, 50,000 Uganda shillings, which is approximately 15 USD to enter the delivery ward and uh, she delivered at the health center gate. Unfortunately, the baby passed on. And this is this is something that really uh, motivated us to come up with uh, uh, this solution, to help the uninsured, to help the low income earners, those ones that are, 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 the below, are, that are below the, the economic pyramid, uh, to help them to, to save for healthcare specifically. And uh, we are trying to do this um, competitively with uh, traditional insurance premiums. Uh, insurance premiums are very, very expensive. When you look at uh, specific, maybe Uganda at, at, as, as a case example, you have to save, I think, approximately uh, around 2,000 2, USD per year you know, uh, to, to, to for, uh, with, with the uh, traditional insurance. But uh, with, with Peleta Health, we start as low as 500 Uganda shillings. This is approximately uh, 0 0.25 uh, USD. And this is very affordable for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, the informal sector and, and, and also the low in middle income earners. Yeah. Yes, sir. Take us step by step. How does one get started on Peleta? Where do they go? How do they start saving? When they are sick, how do they... Uh, get a chance to use the money they have been saving. Thank you. Uh, uh, the Pelaita model is very is very simple and very very swift. So what happens is that uh, uh, we have a digital wallet. We have an app. Uh, uh, our users go and download the app on Google Play, and then uh, the registration is very swift. Use your mobile your mobile number and then uh, you, uh, put in uh, documents or register your documents uh, such as your national ID so that we can verify your your identity and then uh, from there you create a wallet. The moment you register like this, you immediately create a wallet. You have created a digital wallet for yourself and then you start saving. How do you save? You you get your you get money straight from your mobile money and then you wire it on your digital on your 
a healthcare savings wallet or the pay later wallet. And uh, so what happens is when you get sick, uh, we have we have uh, healthcare facilities that we partner with across Uganda. So you go to the nearby healthcare facility that is registered with Paylater Health or that partners with Paylater Health, and the process, the payment process is very simple. When you have got treatment or you maybe have got to the nearby pharmacy, you when you've got your drugs or whatever it is, and you you want to pay, you just use their merchant code. They have uh, Paylater merchant codes, and you wire them. Uh, money from your digital wallet or from your pay later wallet to the uh, to the healthcare facility wallet. That is how swift it is. It is very swift and and very fast. Yeah. Yes, uh, someone might want to know. You are dealing with people's money. Where do you get the mandate to deal with people's money? First of all, uh, you must have to get a, a payment system license, a payment operator system license. And uh, when you get when we when you get uh, the payment uh, system uh, license, you're able to uh, to be able to handle people's money. And I think this is where we come in. Uh, this, this is where financial inclusion comes, and also where regulatory requirements. Where we talk about also regulatory requirements, because uh, uh, when you look at uh, when you look at uh, a small funds uh, operating system like Pelita Health. Uh, to acquire such a license, you must have a minimum capital of a hundred million shillings, and you must be paying uh, you must be paying a license fee of uh, fifteen million Uganda shillings per year, which is quite very 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 expensive, and also very uh, you, we look at it as a very huge hindrance to innovation such as Pelita Health, and also we think uh, uh, it 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 somehow it somehow uh, affects the scale impact of. Of 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 pay later health of such startups small startups, uh, in in trying to 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 impact uh, financial inclusion or like pay later health trying to support uh, people who, uh, who are really having uh, uh, issues with uh, healthcare because healthcare is very expensive and uh, in Uganda uh, at large and uh, 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 they are very high uh, pocket expenditure for healthcare, very excess, uh, 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 excessively high pocket expenditure for healthcare in Uganda. So uh, you must acquire that license, which we, which we have acquired already. But then to me, I still find it uh, very expensive for the small startups, for the small startups out there that are trying to do, uh, uh, to make an impact in the financial inclusion. Yeah. Yes, thank you. So for the time you have been uh, doing this, uh, which I would say is a very commendable job, helping last mile people get access to affordable and quiet health. How many people have you served? How many hospitals have you partnered with? And in how many areas are you operational currently? Thank you. Uh, since Ever since we launched uh, in 2021, we have had an amazing impact. We have had an amazing progress. Uh, so far, we have over 3,600 subscribers that we have had. And uh, currently, we have over 387 uh, healthcare facilities and pharmacies that we partner with. Right now, we are in Central Uganda and Western Uganda, and we're looking uh, in uh, very soon in the near future to scale in Eastern Uganda. So we 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 have helped very many people uh, have access to affordable and quality healthcare, and also to make sure that uh, uh, it is very easy for them to 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 pay for healthcare. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Now you talked about uh, the issue of uh, customer saving, uh, being able to access their funds. I would like to understand: Do you have an in-house solution of uh, this payment of these payments, or you have integrated with other licensed operators to make sure that the payments withdraw savings are seamless and real time? I personally believe uh, uh, collaboration is very key. Uh, I believe in collaboration of our competition. So we have partnered with uh, different integrators, especially the UP, uh, so that we are able to, to have seamless uh, transactions and payment uh, to our healthcare facilities and also within our users. Yes, uh, for the three years you have been operating, I know you have, uh, you have several success stories. Absolutely. And of course, a few issues here and there. Yeah. What do you think are the main challenges that are delaying the first adoption of a revolutionary product like 
pay later. Thank you. Um, one of the major challenges, like uh, previously talked about, I think uh, one of the major challenges that we have faced as pay later health has been acquiring uh, uh, the payment operator system, which is really very expensive because it requires you to have a minimum capital of 100 million Uganda shillings. And then you must be paying, uh, that is actually for a transaction, that is actually for a small fund system, payment system that, whose transaction value is less than 1 billion. You get and also uh, you must have a minimum uh, capital of 100 million Uganda shillings while also paying a license fee annual license fee of 15 million Uganda shillings I really believe that that is a very huge hindrance to the innovations fintechs out there and also we believe that it affects the scale impact of such innovations like Pereta Health we would be having a very huge impact at the moment if we if we hadn't been hindered by uh, such uh, you know uh, uh, licenses and maybe also what I can also I think the, the other challenge is um, uh, probably is uh, uh, the users users uh, still have uh, uh, issues with catching up with cashless uh, cashless economy also uh, it, it is becoming a very it is becoming a very huge challenge but I think uh, currently they are trying to adopt they're trying to adopt to the cashless economy and also trying to adopt to the digital world yes yes again I will need to understand because pay later is a digital platform let us paint a picture of I'm sick I'm a server with Peleta, a customer in that case, and I need a, an emergency procedure, and the network is down. How am I helped? Thank you. Uh, I, I think what I, need to, what I didn't talk about is uh, we have a USSD code. That is for people that don't have no access to internet. So you are able to access uh, our services without internet, which is very, very fast and very, very swift. Yeah, and then also the other thing, maybe what I didn't talk about uh, that is very important is uh, uh, is uh, that we offer micro loan top ups uh, to people. Uh, 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 for example, if you're serving with Pay Later Health, and then uh, you are at the facility, you're treated, you have got treatment. Let's assume you have got treatment. Maybe you have your savings, uh, your wallet savings are three hundred thousand Uganda shillings. And uh, maybe uh, the medical bill is 500 Uganda shillings. So we can do a micro loan top up for you with no collateral security. And then you can pay later uh, in monthly flexible, flexible monthly installments. Yeah, I think uh, that is that has been one of our powerful uh, one of our powerful uh, uh, impacts that we have had uh, at Felita Health because people no longer have to worry about medical bills. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, uh, Douglas, maybe allow me to paraphrase the question. Let us assume all the systems are down, but I've been saving with pay later, and I have uh, 1.5 million as a start for my bills in the hospital. I visit a partner hospital for pay later. I know most uh, hospitals always ask for down payment before the procedure is done. So everything is offline. How am I helped? Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's i think uh rarely happens but yeah like any like any like any digital platform uh things can happen but uh, we we can find a way out okay maybe what i wanted uh, to understand is do you have in comprehensive partnerships with the health care providers you are dealing with to a point that with a call they can work on a patient for as long as their details have been, because we are talking about saving life. Yes. yes, we shouldn't we shouldn't lose our life or lives because the systems are down, yet this person had resources somewhere. Absolutely. Is that something that can happen? Yes, yes, yes. Now, we have a very comprehensive partnership with uh, with healthcare facilities in a way that uh, also, our, also our customer service uh, lines are on standby in a way that if there is any, if there is, any 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 hindrance in 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 the, in the platform or whatever it is so they can easily give us a call and uh, if we if this part if this healthcare facility is our partner then definitely everything will go on because we definitely see the we will definitely check out the details of the of the patient and make sure that the the procedure proceeds yeah yes now let me also speak on behalf of healthcare providers uh, there is a story that i usually insurance patients 
are not given immediate attention compared to cash patients. For one simple thing, insurance operators take long to pay. Now, I don't know how true that is, but that's a story that is ongoing. Whenever you go with cash, you are given immediate attention. Whenever it is insurance, you are dragged around. Yes, they work on it, but after some time. At what point do you pay the health care providers? Thank you. Now, this is where Peleta Health comes in. We have we have seen all those problems. We have been we have faced all those problems because when you're solving a problem, you must make sure that you're solving a problem that you personally have also uh, faced. So one of the biggest challenges and one of the uh, one of the biggest challenges that many people face is traditional insurances uh, delaying to pay uh, the healthcare providers and also. Uh, very many people out there have a very negative attitude towards insurance premiums. One, they are very expensive. Two, there is a delay. And for us, where we come in is that we give access and full access of the cash to the user. They have access to their cash. They are able to see how much they have. They are able to transact at any time, any day. That is that is the advantage that we have as as pay later health. And that is, I think, why one of the biggest reasons why uh, very many people or our users out there really prefer pay later health because they have access, they, they have access of their funds anytime, any day. Secondly, is that they are able to share these funds. If a family member is sick or a friend is sick and uh, the other person maybe doesn't have the funds, I am likely, me, I'm likely to share my funds with this person so that they can clear their medical bill. Mr. Douglas, uh, you have answered the question of how convenient and how quick payments are done. Yeah. But in so doing, I see a report around. Yeah. We are saving for a particular cause. True. In this case, is health. Yeah. How are you making sure that these customers are not misusing the funds if they have access to the money? Now, uh, Peleta Health is strictly a healthcare savings account. You cannot go and withdraw it from mobile money. You cannot go and you cannot go and uh, yeah no there is no any third party around it where you can or you can or you go to a bar and then you're like exactly. I, I have my money on pay later health no this money is, speci is specifically for healthcare this is why we say pay later health helps the uninsured low income earners to save as low as five hundred Uganda shillings specifically dedicated for healthcare so that means you can only use this money for your health care and you can only wire it to a registered health care facility a health care facility that is registered or partners with Pelator health quite impressive douglas thank you yes, sir. now as a returning participant of for for fintech initiative what have you observed as the key contributions of the for for fintech initiative to one improving your business but most importantly, shaping the financial technology ecosystem. We had a very major breakthrough when we when we participated in our in our previous uh, forty uh, forty days for the fintechs. Um, uh, it gave us it gave us mileage, it gave us visibility, and uh, we also had an opportunity to be trusted by very many users out there. Get the money. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, one I think other major breakthrough that we had was that uh, we were able to be trusted by an investor who exactly. came through and uh, invested in us. So our our uh, our investment, uh, one of our first investments, I think, uh, was due to the 40 days for the fintechs. And we really appreciate that and we can never take it for granted. Yeah, and this is why actually we are here again because uh, it's a it's a it's a major it's a major platform for fintechs to uh, to to showcase their innovations. And I'm sure you'll get more investors because of the good work you are doing. In your opinion, what else do you think we need to do together? I, I think uh, uh, what else that we need to do together is to collaborate to make sure that we engage the stakeholders on uh, the stringent requirements, regulatory requirements to, that are needed uh, to, to have these innovations to keep going. If we work uh, alongside to make sure that we engage the, the necessary uh, stakeholders or the real stakeholders that are involved and make, maybe we come on a drawing board 
and we come to a conclusion and accept that, hey, these, these requirements are indeed trying to hinder uh, uh, innovations in the country, such as fintechs that are trying to impact financial inclusion. I personally believe that we, that is the way to go. And I believe that we shall, we shall have had a very major success with uh, 40 days for the fintechs with as well uh, the fintechs out there. Sure. Thank you, Douglas. As you wind up, you have two minutes yeah. in your camera. Please present a case for why everyone should use pay later as their health insurance solution. Ladies and gentlemen, healthcare is becoming really expensive in Uganda. I am a very huge advocate uh, for affordable healthcare. And I believe that healthcare bills should never at any one time be really, uh, healthcare bills should never hurt more than illness itself and for that matter therefore i encourage every one of you to use pelita health pelita health is the way to go because it helps you to save specifically for healthcare for medical emergencies that may arise it is affordable it is convenient and it is the way to go uh, thank you Douglas, for that submission this has been day 14 of four days for fintex season five featuring pay later and insure tech and dig to health platform thank you so much for watching and see you soon